fans. I'm Al Lane here with Riley Lane running the camera. We're going to be down here videotaping some wrestling at the Ohio High School State Dual Tournament of 2012. Wasian will be up wrestling Walsh Jesuits first. They will get three matches today. It'll be all team. There won't be any individual awards. It'll be all team points. And in a few minutes, we will start with our first match coming up with Walsh Jesuit. Thank you. Fans, we are now ready to start our first match. Wasian team points are one of four to nothing. We the first few matches were all forfeits. Walsh did not have any upper weights. We started at the 182 pound weight class, and Dylan Nisley will be the first match of the day. Yeah, we have a uh, scoreboard now, don't you leave? 
the uh, scoreboard that you guys see here in the background in the uh, upper left hand corner of your picture that's not the scoreboard for this match the scoreboard for our match is behind us so we can't see uh, the score in the picture we'll keep you updated with that right now. He needs to hang on and not let him score any points. Uh, he gave up the run. Now he got two kicks down back. Four seconds to go here in the second period. That was a great battle there missed by Dylan. He was able to get that too. I probably should have given up the run, but it was good to get back in there again with a takedown.
kid's got the legs in there pretty big. He's to do something with it. Looks like he's going to try to get back. He's got that arm bar in there. He's trying to turn him here. Fifteen seconds to go here in the first period. Wade is up. Wade is down. Wade is two. Start of the second period here. Wade is currently down. Wade is two. Wade wins the toss, chooses down. Good first move, good first move. As soon as that whistle blew, Wade was right out of the stands. Score is now 4 to 4.
looks like Zach's got his hand full with this Walsh kid. I'm not sure what his credentials are. Some of these kids are returning state wrestlers in places. I could get a program here and uh, just have to figure out which wrestler they send out against us. If I would have the right wrestler with his credentials. Started the second period, Zach is down 7 to 0. Zach is wrapped up for 
state placers, state qualifiers too, so um, Jacob's probably got his work cut off for him here, so we'll see what he can do in this match. fifth in the state division two and wrestled him a tough match so Jacob uh, Jacob's been doing a good job when it comes to wrestling these uh, kids that have been in the state tournament Oh, 
huge match. We talked about earlier how Jacob was very strong for his weight class. Jacob for this match wrestled uh, this is a 132 pound weight class for the big tournament in the sectional district and stuff. I mean, he'll be playing to go to 126, so he'll be even stronger down there at that weight class. So looking forward to see what he could do come that time. Good job, Whip. Great win, Jacob. Next up for us here on Nathaniel Frost Sr. This is the 130. 38 pound weight class. Once again, we're waiting for the scoreboard. I don't know if this scoreboard is that tough to run or what's going on here, but it sure it seems like it's, it's not going right. But a lot of time time waiting for the scoreboard here. And we are off starting the first period. Guys up, guys up. Side, side. I apologize for not knowing the credentials on this last year, but I know I'm a meet. Two, three! Two, three, take down! They're best these weight classes here. That was a huge win for Jacob Wickham. A minute 38 to go here in the first period. Nathaniel just got taken down for two, he's down two to nothing. Actually, I believe that this is uh, for Ross. This is Nate Shineski. He's a returning state champion. Uh, he's a state champ at the uh, 135 weight pound weight class, I believe. And he's an Ironman champ this year, and I believe he is undefeated, but I'm not totally sure.
that call, 18 to 1, it be 5 team points for that call. Anytime a wrestler goes up by 15 points, they just stop the match. Again, a really tough match for Nathaniel. It was good to uh, not get pinned and only give up a uh, technical fall. But Walsh only got five points for that instead of six, so good job for not getting pinned. Oh, Nigel is up in there. Oh, they don't have anybody to win the wrestle either. This is huge for the team points. The team score now is 48 to 10. There's no way Walsh can score enough points. There's only a two or three more weight classes left. So Wasson as a team does have this match in hand. Next up for Wasson is Junior, Austin Young. -Man. Hobbled with a knee injury. He hasn't had much match time this year. Austin uh, suffered a uh, torn ACL injury um, in August. Got a surgery late August and um, has been, as I always said, hasn't had very much match time. Has been practicing since the middle of December, and uh, hopefully he can uh, get enough match time here where he can uh, coming in the sectional district tournament can have a good shot at going to the state tournament. The last two years he has been uh, his freshman and his sophomore year has been one match away from going to state. So hopefully this could be the year for him that uh, he makes it down to Columbus. Hey, don't try to stay in the low on the 
Gary Lawson is still down 4-0. He's still into this match. He can easily come out on the victory. Like I said, Austin's probably not quite in shape yet. He hasn't had much match time at all. He's only been back wrestling here for a couple of weeks.
Zach Stewart for the 160 pound weight class. Good fight by Zach Stewart. He's getting in there, on there, getting in there on the laser a couple of times. He's just got to get in there and finish. This 
be the last year for this format. Next year they will have a playoff system. So every team will get to participate in the state of Ohio to compete in Columbus next year. The system that Al was talking about that they use now is every year at the district tournament they calculate the points that each freshman, sophomore, and junior has scored for that team. And then the next following year, those two, the, the top two teams in each, each district will go down to um, the state dual tournament. They do this for all three divisions. Um, this is the Division II tournament. Um, Wasiat is coming out of the Northwest District. Them and uh, Padua is the other team that um, is wrestling here down at the St. Louis. And um, as Al said, this will be the last year for that. Next year it will be in a bracketed format, a playoff system like he said. And the top teams, all three divisions will wrestle on the same day in uh, St. John's Arena down at Columbus at Ohio State. In the second period, the score is 2 to 1, still favor Walsh. The Division One State Duels Tournament is somewhere in Cleveland. I'm not totally sure on that location, but the Division Three Tournament is actually held at uh, Evergreen High School. And Archibald, um, our tribal, is qualified for the State Duels Tournament. Let's go, 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 let's go
wrestled a lot of varsity. He wrestled behind Nick McCall for the last few years. He could not break the varsity lineup for this year. And he was a solid, excellent wrestler for the senior. Travis is having a pretty good senior season so far. Uh, he's been wrestling a lot. He's undefeated in the league. He uh, was one match away from placing in the Bucksville tournament. And the Bucksville tournament, we refer to that too a couple of times during this match. There's a tournament over um, at Bucksville Broadview Heights High School. Um, that was, uh, last year I went to that tournament a couple of days after Christmas. It's a very, very tough tournament. Um, there are a lot of state champions, state placers um, that go to that tournament. There's about 45 kids in each black bracket. And there are some kids that um, are defending state champions that don't even place in the top four um, at this tournament. So as you can tell, um, it's a very tough tournament. And Travis did wrestle well there, ran into a couple of studs there in the consolation bracket, was one match with place, and hopefully we can see um, he get down to his um, Columbus his senior year. Travis likes to do a lot of uh, upper weight throws. It seems like he's kind of right into his twin here. Uh, it looks like the kid he's wrestling likes to do a lot of throws as well. Um, Travis has always been like, like that from the days of video. He always rock it up as you can see. He's got a uh, double underhook right here trying to throw the guy. I'm um, always big on throws. And, uh, hopefully he can get a throw here and get the, take the guy from feet to back. And hopefully he can Josh Russell has been cautioned for stalling, or one for stalling. That's a big advantage already in this match, going to be in the first period. Travis is really pushing most of the action here. I wouldn't be surprised if the Walsh kid gets hit again for stalling uh, somewhere early in the second period. down to start the second period. Zero, zero. Pretty an update on the team points here. It is now 51 to 13 federal last year.
time instead of giving a third period and a couple good shots in there in a way, see if you can try to pull one of those out again. 30 seconds to go in this overtime period. Correct me if I'm wrong, Al, but there's probably been close about 10 stalemates in this match, hasn't there? Come by the ref. Oh, this last period, right? This third period has been going on for like five, six minutes now. Yeah. They've stopped the match in five seconds. Both guys got some locked up there. Oh! We'll see, we'll see if the ref comes close. Indian.